Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be using this really cute stamp set from My Favorite Things. This is called Cutie Asaurus. I picked out a few different images from the set and I put them in my mini Misty tool and I'm going to be stamping them with Gina K Amalgam Ink onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. The Amalgam Ink is a Copic friendly ink which is good because I'm going to be coloring in these images with my Copic markers today. If you're curious about any of the colors that I'm using, I did place the marker caps in the upper left hand corner there so that you can read any of the color names. I decided to color this dinosaur in with some pretty blue green colors and like always with my Copic coloring I started with my lightest color and then I used my medium shade and then my darkest shade and then I slowly worked back towards my lightest shade in order to blend those colors really well. Once I got a nice blend, I decided to do a little bit of stippling with my marker in order to add some texture. And if you're not completely sure what stippling means, it just means coloring with dots. It's a really great way to add some interesting texture to your drawings. For the leaves on the trees, I wanted to stay in the blue-green family so that they would tie together with that dinosaur really well. Now I didn't color them the exact same color as the dinosaur because then they could get a little bit lost together. Instead I decided to color them a lot darker but still in that blue green family. I colored in the two tree trunks and the heart on top of the dinosaur's head and then I wanted to give a little bit of color to those two clouds. Now I knew that I was going to be doing a pink background so I thought that I would add a pink color cast onto the clouds. I used a couple of different colors of pink and then I took my colorless blender and I went over the edge of that pink so that I could really fade it out and make it less of a harsh line. So for my background I have a piece of Bristol Smooth Paper and I'm blending some Distress Oxide ink together. I used the colors Abandoned Coral and Spun Sugar and I didn't have to cover the whole page because I knew that I was going to cover up most of it. I used my scan and cut in order to cut this heart shape out of a piece of Nina Solar White and I'm going to be adhering all of those images that I colored in around that heart using my Gina K Connect glue. Now if you don't have a scan and cut you could of course just use any heart die that you have. I know that Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts both have some really great nested heart die sets. Anyways, I adhered the dinosaur and the two clouds to the front of the panel and then I adhered the two trees onto the back side of the panel. Next I used a combination of liquid adhesive and my ATG gun in order to adhere a piece of acetate onto the back of that heart. This is going to be a shaker so that heart is going to be my shaker window. I took a piece of foam tape and I doubled it up so that it was twice as thick and then I cut it down the center so that it was nice and thin and then I took both sides of backing off of it and I wrapped it around that heart to create my shaker area. The first piece wasn't quite long enough but because I cut that foam tape in half I have another piece right here and I'm able to just cut a little piece of that off and fill in the rest of that gap. For my sequins, I decided to use the Coconut Ice Mix from Lucy's Cards, which is a really pretty mixture of sequins. I placed those sequins onto my background and then I placed my shaker window right on top and closed up that shaker. Then I used some scissors and I trimmed the excess from that background. I used a combination of foam tape and my ATG gun in order to adhere that whole panel onto an A2 size card base. For my sentiment, I decided to use the stamp from the set which says you're a cutiosaurus and I stamped that with Versamark ink onto some Simon Says Stamp slate cardstock and I'm going to be embossing that with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And I did use my powder tool on that paper before stamping so that I wouldn't have any issues with the embossing. I cut a slanted edge on one side of that sentiment strip and then I adhered it onto the bottom of my card. For the finishing touches on this card, I first added a few sequins from Simon Says Stamp's Girl's Best Friend Sequin Mix. Next I went over both of the clouds using my Wink of Stella glitter brush. 
I used a white gel pen to add some highlights and details to the trees and the dinosaur. And I also took a Copic marker and I added some blush to the cheek on the dinosaur. And that finishes up this card. Here's a closer look at this card and you can see all of those sequins inside the shaker. I really love the sequin mixes that I used for this card. Thank you for watching today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design using the Cutiosaurus stamp set from My Favorite Things. All of the supplies that I used can be found in the description down below. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of my future videos. I'll be back with another video very soon. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I hope you have a good day today.